We're now learning about charges protesters at UC San Diego are facing after that tense showdown between CHP and pro-Palestine demonstrators on campus yesterday. Dozens of people were arrested after refusing to leave an anti-war encampment. CBS 8's Chris Grow is on campus breaking down the legal consequences from yesterday's protest. And we do have our hands on the arrest log, so we're actually seeing which type of charges some of those that were amongst the 64 arrested are facing. They are misdemeanors, and that's, again, part of the reason why we saw uh, those who were protesting, they were arrested, they were booked, and then released at that jail just yesterday. We did try to speak with them, though they were, again, uh, not accepting interview requests. They were not trying to speak with us. In fact, this was the most that we spoke with one individual. Take a listen. We made it. Please, please yeah. do not talk. Do Was not it worth it? Do not talk to the media. Oh, that right. is, do not talk to the media. That's my short statement. See ya. Welcome back. And so of the arrest, uh, from the arrest uh, log here, from the jail log, we have seen a number of the different charges that, again, 64 people could be facing here. They range from unlawful assembly to resisting arrest to storing personal belongings on university property, unauthorized encroachment, curfew violation on university campus. Uh, they vary by person to person, but again, these are misdemeanor charges. So what we understand, 64 people arrested related to this protest encampment, this pro palestine Palestine encampment of those arrested 40 of them uh, were told are uh, actually affiliated with the university whether that be with students or some other affiliation and that the remaining 24 they either have not officially identified yet or are unaffiliated now as for what's happening here on campus today we're back to normal operations MTS is back to their normal operations in fact uh, what we have happening behind us where this encampment used to be is something that was already scheduled but is along the lines of the same subject. In fact, this is um, a program that is going to be going on today that has already been approved. We spoke with UCSD Public Relations. They said this is called the Justice in Palestine uh, program. So this is something that people are going to be seeing right here in front of the Geisel Library. And then there is a Peace in Israel program that will be happening next week. Again, these were already scheduled, but having to deal with the same subject, one that we saw, again, just how, uh, uh, you know, again, tense and emotional both of those subject matters can get. But they say the UCSD CSD public relations that this is being done through an approved channel in an approved manner.